Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 21 of the Microsoft Word tutorial series and today we're going to talk about page size margins and orientation inside of Microsoft Word. So over here you can see that I got a default layout and uh, to change that what I can do is I can go out to the design section right here. Sorry, I mean the layout section right here. And over here you can see that there's margins, orientation, size, columns and so forth. But today we're going to focus on these three and the simplest way to change the layout. So by default, uh, what you get is in the size section, uh, this is actually uh, a letter size that is 8.5 into 11 inch, uh, which is the standard document size um, you, um, you are used in by Microsoft Word. So you can change the size, let's say for example, you can change it to A4 and you can see the layout uh, does change a bit, but not too much, just like this. And over here, you can also change it to a3 size which is actually a larger size as you can see and the entire document actually changes the space of it itself and these are uh, there are more paper sizes right here and you can even uh, adjust the width and height yourself and then uh, change, change the paper sizes like that. So I'm going to change it to um, A4 size because that is the standard for where I live so that's the A4 size right here. And over here on the left side, you can see the orientation, which is by default a portrait uh, over here. You can also change it to landscape, which will actually uh, change the layout of the document, as you can see. So let me change back, that back to portrait. And over here, you can see the margin. And by default, there's a one inch mar margin on each of the sides right here. If you do narrow, you can see that there's a narrow in, uh, margin of 0 0.5 inch. And over here, you can see that there's a moderate inch. Uh, where you have around 1.5 over here and 1 inch over here, so 0 0.75 inch over here and 1 inch over there. There's a wide uh, margin where uh, you can see that there's a wide margin out here. And what you can also do is you can have a mirrored margin as well. Uh, you can see that this will actually uh, be helpful if you want to pay a print book like a margin. So you can see on the top page, uh, there's the left margin uh, that's wider over here. And over here, you can see that the right margin is actually wider. If I were to actually reduce the size of it, you can actually see the difference. So let's, uh, let's just say, I'm going to say, um, all right, so let me just zoom out by using the old fashioned uh, scroll mouse button way. And you can see that uh, this margin and this margin is equal, which is great for books. But anyways, I'm going to zoom this in now. And over here on the layout section again, you can also go to custom margin section and you can see that I can add in a margin myself as well. So let's say for example, I want to add 0 0.5 margin on the top and press OK and you can see the margin actually at this. And over, over here as well, I can actually move this around. You can see that this is the margin section. I can simply drag this around and I can also drag this around as well. So over here, this dragon to change the margins and you can see that this is quite interactive. And the good thing about this is uh, all the pages remain consistent regarding the margins uh, that we choose. So that is how you can uh, change the page size, adjust margins and adjust the orientation inside of Microsoft Word. Hope you guys learned something as always and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.